you're fat and lazy. You know that, right, Rosemary? Still so fat, even after, kids, even after having her kids. Stop eating me. Stop eating me, sweet little baby. You good. You. You're playing. You're letting Autumn play with you now, huh? That's sweet. Oh, she might not be as sweet as she looks. <laughs> Y'all, so I was coming out today to record a video that was going to be all about our success and how we have worked very hard and diligently for the last couple of days to get Fancy's kids to take her teat and they were taking it very well. Only problem we ran into was that Fancy was actually nursing the other kids. And so during the day, she would have a low milk supply. So we would have to come out here and make sure that we held them up to her as often as we could. And if there wasn't enough, we would supplement with a bottle. So yesterday, we hit a major milestone of success. We went the full 24 hours without having to give the bottle. She was letting them nurse, and I don't know that she was letting anybody else nurse, but she definitely had enough milk in her udder at every time. We even had to milk her out at one point and set that aside in a different jar just in case we needed to give them a bottle at another point. They were nursing. She was doing great with them. She's an amazing, amazing mom. Everything was going perfectly. We were still monitoring things very closely. Ryan came down here at goat bedtime and made sure that they nursed again. And they did. And they were nice and full and happy. This is where that whole story changes. This was supposed to be a video about a successful situation, but unfortunately, the tides turned this morning. Well, I guess I take that back. She is nursing other kids. All of the other kids. I just looked over here. And everybody's nursing on Fancy Girl. <laughs> I don't know whether to see this as a blessing or a curse, but I sure am happy that she is such a sweet, nice goat. Now, whether or not the fact that Fancy was nursing other kids plays a role in what I'm about to tell you or not is kind of irrelevant. It's probably not related in any way because we have been separating Fancy Girl and her kids from the other kids at night so that her babies would be able to have the complete full portions for their nighttime nursing, their evening nursing, any time during the night that they wanted to nurse, and in the morning. Luna, you licking me. <laughs> I'm being licked by babies everywhere. They're all trying to get in my lap and circling around me, <laughs> eating my shirt. Silly babies. <laughs> so, you can imagine my surprise with everything going so well and perfectly and everybody doing such a healthy job of staying well fed and energetic. When I got down here and went in fancy stall to feed them, Fantasia didn't wake up. 
She was sleeping in the normal spot where they always rest, curled up in the corner, peacefully, happily looking. And she didn't get up. Oh. And I thought, well, she must just be sleeping really good. And as I got closer to her and she didn't move at all, I realized that she was gone. I honestly can say I had no idea why. There was no sign of injury, no sign of sickness, no sign of parasites. She's too young for that. Her belly was full. Her bladder was full. She was very recently passed when I found her. She was still warm and soft. And I, you know, I examined her all over. There was nothing wrong with her at all. Now, granted, I could send her body for necropsy at the State University, but a lot of times in situations like this where babies just die in their sleep, they often don't find why. They don't know why. And I don't have $300 to do that today. <laughs> I'm, I spent the entire morning already trying to figure out how I'm going to get to see a cardiologist and get my testing done that's going to cost $2,000 or more. So granted, I waited three years for this baby to be born, three years of fancy kidding to get my doubling. Fantasia was my finally successful <laughs> baby doling from Fancy Girl. She made me so happy and I was so attached. Bottle feeding a kid makes you get attached real fast. I mean, look at this guy. He hasn't had a bottle in two days. <laughs> and he is sitting here rubbing on me. I've seen him and Fancy look around the stall like they were looking for her after I took her out and buried her and I just thought they don't even they don't even know what happened you know like nobody's ever gonna know it's gonna be one of these mysteries that we just chalk up to it wasn't meant to be or it wasn't part of God's plan. I don't even know what words to use because none of it makes sense to me. So despite the fact that I had every intention of coming down here and giving you guys a really happy positive video about our success in getting this baby off of a bottle and onto his mama along with his sister So now I just have to accept the fact that it was some random fluke thing that was out of anybody's control, obviously. She was a picture of health. She was so healthy. She was doing so well. And I just don't know how this happened or why this happened. You know, it's one, it's in moments like these when I go, why God, why you have piled things on me over and over and over. Not just in the last few years, but my entire life. It seems like I have had to overcome obstacles left and right with no clue why. And all I can say is I just hope that God has something amazing planned for me. So, I just felt that I needed to share with you guys in this because I don't know what else I would do. You know, I 
I have to tell you guys the truth, even when it's hard, even when it's bad, even when it's not what I want to be telling you guys about. So, I don't know why these things happen. I don't know why fluke deaths occur, but I know that I've, I've been able to deal with some pretty hard losses in the past few years. And I think it's I want to say that it's part of it, but there's part of me that just says, how can this be part of it? How is this part of it? But every goat herd I know deals with loss. They all have goats that die, but not every goat herd of this size has a YouTube channel. So when you have a bigger herd and you have more goats, you're going to experience more, more deaths, but you're also experiencing more births, more life, more beauty. So it's not to say that having a big goat herd means you're going to have a bunch of dead animals. That's not the case. Statistically, percentage wise, we have very few dead animals, but because of our public display of everything that happens here, you know, people always remember the bad and they don't remember the good. It's a lot easier for anyone to focus on the death and the loss and the pain, but I can't do that. I, I won't be okay if I do that. So. I'm going to force myself to choose to be grateful for the lives that I do have. You know, it's just sometimes in life you just have to force yourself to be okay with things even when you're not. <laughs>